Okay, this tutorial in Corel Draw is <coughs> is all about the. I'm going to show you the two difference uh, between uh, fillet and and using the shape tool to make a radius corner. <coughs> if you look at these two objects here, and if you really take a good look on the corners here, I would say this is a better radius corners than this one because if you notice when this one would be curved see the curve starts from there it's not equal compared to the other one here the curve starts from here and then the curves also starts from there right so this is more equal than the curve here on top Okay, so these two objects were done differently. If if we're gonna going to recreate both of this one, I'm just going to duplicate this with my plus sign. Move it over here, and I did a power clip on this one, so I go to effects, power clip, extract contents. Okay, so basically this is my object, and this was my image, power clip. So I'm going to delete that one. Okay. So the first thing I've done here is I created a rectangle, right? And then uh, I'm just going to zoom in here. And then I click on the shape tool, and I click on the nodes, and then move it inside, right? So then I can make a radius corners. And then I click outside, and then I click on the image, and then go to effects, power clip, place inside a container, and I click on the container. Like I said, this one doesn't have really the the right curve, right? especially when you know when you drag it going inside like this. Right? But what if you want exact the exact you know radius so in this case here the best thing to do I think would be using the fill at command so I'll extract I'll, I'll go plus sign here and bring it down and then I extract the file I mean the image okay and move this here and then I'll delete this one and I'll show you the the better way of doing the radius corners so first I recreate uh, the rectangle okay so that's my rectangle okay. I'll just make it a different outline so that you can see the difference Now, you have to go to Windows, click on Dockers, and in Dockers, you move to Fillet, Scallop, and Chamfer. Okay. This is like a similar AutoCAD uh, tool. Okay. Fillet. Fillet looks like that. Okay. And then Scallop looks like this. Chamfer looks like this. And see the distance? So those are the distance in if you want to fill it. So this means to say the radius here would be 0.5 millimeter, uh, 0.5 inches. Okay. Don't make it too large because the fillet won't work because it has to be just a small one. So you can adjust this. So first you click on the rectangle. Okay. And then let's say you want it one inch. Let's try one inch here. Click type in one inch and then click on apply. See that's one inch radius. Click on Control Z. One inch too, is too big, so I'll make it 0.5. So 0.5 of one inch, and then click on Apply. There. Now I'm going to go to Effects, Power Clip, Place Inside a Container, and let's see the difference here. I don't know if you see the difference, but the radius here, if I use the 
fillet skull of chamfer is better than the ranges of the shape tool see if the shape tool see whenever I change the position of the node You notice it's not equal but compared to to the using the fillet skull and chamfer it's kind of equal the radius now you can also use a different effect here instead of fillet you can use chamfer or let's go undo here let's try scallop here scallop okay so you click on the object first and scallop and click on apply see and then I can click on this one and put it uh, power clip inside the container and click there so that's color obviously you can always change the, the radius here the problem in, in here is that once you click on the radius it's already an object and you cannot change Let's say I want to change it to a bigger radius uh, or a smaller, say 0 0.25, and then click on apply. See, it won't make me do it because it's going to scallop, a scallop. So the best thing to do is you have to experiment first. Which distance would you like? Okay. So by doing that, you just do undo. Let's say here I want it 0 0.5, right? And click on apply so that's 0.5 right and then I put here our clip place inside the container okay so that's it